Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making butter chicken. Um, I don't know if this is an authentic recipe, but I found it online, so here we go. So I have some um, chicken thighs that I'm cleaning up a little bit. Um, I still leave a little bit of fat on because, I mean, it doesn't bother me much. I'm one of the people who still eat the gristle off of, <laughs> off of like, um, my chicken legs, chicken wings, whatever. So a little fat never bothers me. So I'm cleaning those up just a little bit and then I'm going to slice them up and cut them into, um, bigger chunks because I want some substance, you know, so. It's me again, back with another banger. <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to transfer our chicken to um, a dish so we can marinate it. Um, this dish has a top, so there was a point of me using it so I can stick it in the fridge. Um, so in a few seconds here, I'm going to add the um, ingredients. So it's salt, coriander, chili powder, turmeric, and marsala seasonings. And then we have garlic and ginger. This is Greek yogurt, a cup of that um, full fat Greek yogurt, and we're just gonna mix it in. What you watch? Halloween kids. Nope. Yeah, Halloween kills. I didn't ask you a fat little fat question. I'm sorry, I'm used to it. That's what you said! Leave me alone. Leave me be. Leave me alone. Leave me be. Alright, so now we're just gonna do, you know, chop up, we'll dice up our onion. Um, and this takes one full white onion. I mean you can use more if you want, but I used one. Um, yeah. I love onions, so use, I could have used two, honestly, but I wanted to follow the recipe. And I'm gonna say this, no part of the onion goes unused. Um, any part that you feel like you need to throw away, use it to make vegetable stock with any other vegetables you use in that day. The crazy thing about me opening this bag of parsley, I've never been able to store parsley, like, I'm just learning how to store it, and I've had this bag of parsley for over a week. So guess who's learning how to store their herbs properly? This girl, me, and if it ain't proper, it's still good. So I'm proud of myself. No money wasted. So you're going to see me put these on some skewers. So I had an issue with the skewers. For one, they were the really long ones that you would use at a campfire. And then two, I think I only soaked them for like 10 minutes. I know, I was supposed to soak them longer, but I didn't. So they started burning in the oven. So when I take the pan of chicken back out, you're gonna see that it's on parchment paper. I blame myself for that one, but oh well. And the chicken marinated for like three hours while I prepped everything else. Okay, so clearly we see no skewers, but the chicken smelled amazing. All of the ginger, the garlic, 
oh my God, the best thing you'll ever smell in your kitchen. I highly suggest anybody to make this recipe. And I don't know if it's authentic, so go to somebody who, um, whose culture this is and give an authentic recipe. I'm not sure I found this one online, but this was amazing. It smelled so good. So the recipe called for ghee and olive oil. I didn't have any, I didn't want to make any. So I just used butter and olive oil and melted it down and started adding my ingredients in. So we're going to use the same spices, coriander, turmeric, chili powder, salt, and some sugar. And we're going to add that directly into the onions and let that cook. And do not forget your garlic and your ginger. And just cook it until it's fragrant. It's a different type of cooked fragrant and a raw fragrant. To cook it until you to your liking. This is one 15 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. And we're adding in one cup of heavy cream and mixing that in and letting it simmer because then we're going to add the chicken back and let the chicken simmer in this to soak up the flavor, the color, and it's going to darken a little bit too. You'll see in a few. And I already had my basmati rice cooked and ready to go. It finished literally in the perfect time. And we're just going to serve her up in my bowl. And yes, I did clean my bowl um, on the sides before I ate it because I hate a dirty looking bowl. But look at that. I also made the bread too. I have a video for the non bread. So if you guys want to see it, let me know. But this is the finished product and it was amazing. You hear me? Amazing. Um, Probably a goddamn blanket food with him. Cause she got sandwiches. That's what it is. She said, put something on your arm. I think they do.